Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got a compound shape that consists of circle and triangles such that this angle BAC is 41 degrees. And now we are going to find the value of this angle X. Please don't forget to give thumbs up to this video. So let's get started with the solution. And in this video tutorial, I will be sharing with you two different approaches to solve this given problem. And here's our very first method. And in this very first step, let's focus on this triangle ABC. And now let's recall Thales theorem. And here's our Thales theorem. If A, B and C are the distinct point on a circle where the line AC is a diameter, then the angle ABC is a right angle. As you can see in this figure, we have A, B and C are the points on the circle. Then this angle ABC is going to be a 90 degree angle. Therefore, in our this triangle ABC, this angle ACB is going to be 90 degrees angle. Now, once again, let's focus on the very same triangle ABC. We know that the sum of the angles in this triangle is 180 degrees. We know that this angle is 41 degrees. This angle is 90 degrees. So this angle has got to be 49 degrees. And in this next step, let's focus on this quadrilateral ABCD. And now let's recall cyclic quadrilateral property. And here's our cyclic quadrilateral property, a cyclic quadrilateral, or sometimes we call it inscribed quadrilateral, is a quadrilateral whose all vertices lie on a circle. And as you can see in our example, all these vertices A, B, C, and D indeed lie on this circle. So therefore, this A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. And moreover, the opposite angles in it add up to 180 degrees. That means in this uh, cyclic quadrilateral, this angle plus this angle, they are opposite angle and they add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, I can write this angle X plus uh, this uh, 49 degrees equal to 100 and 80 degrees and now let's go ahead and subtract 49 degrees from both sides so they cancel each other out so our angle x turns out to be simply 131 degrees so thus our angle x turns out to be 131 degrees and now let me share with you the second method and before we proceed let me go over basic review and now let's talk about the inscribed angles. Two inscribed angles that intercept the same arc are congruent. And now we can see that these two angles, this angle and this angle, they are congruent because they intercept this very same arc. And likewise, these two angles are congruent as well since they intercept this very same arc as well and here's our very first step let's go ahead and connect these points b and d let me go ahead and connect these point b and d and here's our much nicer looking diagram then we can see that these two inscribed angles angle this one b a c and this angle B, D, C, they are congruent angles since they intercept this very same arc. Therefore, this angle B, D, C turns out to be 41 degrees as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle A, D, B. And now let's recall this Thales theorem once again. And according to this theorem, this uh, angle is going to be 90 degrees 
Therefore, this angle ADB is 90 degrees. And here's our final step. We can see that this whole angle X is equal to these two individual angles, this angle ADB and this angle BDC. So therefore, our angle X is going to be equal to, in our case, angle ADB is 90 degrees. I can write 90 degrees plus this angle BDC is 41 degrees. So our angle X turns out to be 131 degrees. So thus our angle X turns out to be 131 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.